Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your art channeled message in tarot reading. I channel messages through art, creativity, anything of that sort. If you'd like a channeled message or channeled reading, personal reading, all the info is down below. I tried to give a quick rundown of what it's about, what I offer as well, so you know before booking. I think that's important. None of my messages have any rules, so that means they're timeless and you can watch them whenever you want. So yeah, what I started drawing for you was a paintbrush, followed by one of those big chopping knives for cooking. I got, you're getting creative in the kitchen, new recipes. It's like you're being creative with many things. We often forget that art isn't where art doesn't just mean on paper or on canvas. You can channel your creative energy into anything. With you, it's food, I think. After much experimenting, you're realizing you love to do that. So the utensil, the knife, is your paintbrush. You're channeling that creative energy into other things. Then I hear the song I, I got, yeah, I got the song, everything, every little thing she does is magic. Whatever you touch, whatever you make turns to gold. Preparation-wise, or presentation-wise, it's art. You're impressive. Then I started ch channeling something else, which was a can. It was a can of paint, and paint was dripping out of it. I was getting that you have endless utilities, you have what you need, but you don't know what to do with it. Everything's in front of you, but you're not really creating anything. You're not using that potential. So maybe this means like the paint being poured out, it's like you're wasting potential. And there's also, I was getting a fear of wasting items like paint, things that cost money because you think you're going to mess up or you think it's not worth it so to speak it's like what's the point if it's not even gonna look good and i feel like that that's a mindset you really need to throw out that's showing up heavy here and the third thing i started drawing was a block of cheese as weird as, as weird as that sounds i got you feel like something is cheesy no one will like this no one will want to look at it and you feel this way because you're not conventional. Conventional is the perfect word I got. And I'm not surprised to get that at all. Because the, even the cheese looks like a cash register. It looks like both again. It's one of those things. Something is too cheesy or too stupid to make money off of. You don't think it will make you money. But it's like everyone else is looking at it like it is. You see cheesy, they see money. I also heard worthy. I believe I got something similar with you guys before in one of your other messages that had to do with wanting to create your own product, having a lot of good ideas, genius ideas. So it's like this is following through, but this time there's this anxiety. Someone doesn't realize how gifted they are. And it's rare I get an art theme or the subject of that with me because I'm an art channel so this is crazy we have an artist here but you're very unconventional with it very unconventional I love Aquarius's messages because you guys you guys are gonna be you guys just scream success like all of your messages have to do with something like that sounds like a repeat but it's a little different it's like whatever idea you have that you think it's stupid is really a money maker. So keep that, keep that in mind. You see cheesy, they don't see it that way at all. It's all about perspective. Sometimes our brain is just mean. Our ego is mean. But take a minute and think like, how can you prove what your ego is saying is true or false? You really can't. So just take your ego with a grain of salt. Don't listen to it.
Okay. Actually, I'm gonna get from this deck. Miracle. I'm getting expect a miracle. Miracles can happen. So it's like whatever you're working on, whatever you want to do, could also be a very, very different. I was still getting unconventional. It's so unconventional that there's no way to tell if it would be successful because no one's ever done it before. No one's ever tried it. No one's no one's ever took that leap of faith. But they have done other things. But you want to stray away from the norm. So that's a very big sacrifice you had to make. But it's going to lead to success. A miracle. And yellow here to me screams abundance. Like pentacles. Gold. Everything you touch turns to gold. I said that. So it's like everything you touch is a miracle. Everything you touch will be a miracle. So I'm saying definitely anything you're working on, anything, any idea, any idea you have will be successful. Success is written all over you. So keep that in mind. Every, especially every time you doubt your gift. Never doubt your gift, because we're, we're all unique. We all have our own unique purpose, our own unique gifts. And it's such an insult to yourself when you do that. Like, don't downplay yourself. Don't don't try to dim your light. Look at her, and she's even using her hands in this card. You you have like these <laughs> magical hands or something. In your last e reading, I was getting something that had to do with your energy goes into everything you do. If the intention is there, you don't have to worry about the product or the end result because everything usually just follows if you're doing it for the right reasons. I think right here it's just a little bit of insecurity. But miracles can happen. Miracles will happen. You just need to try it. What do you think these entrepreneurs would do if they didn't take that risk? Would they have as much money as they did today? No, they probably wouldn't be here at all. They probably wouldn't be known at all if they didn't try that one idea. So nothing ever goes to waste. You have to remember that. Nothing ever goes to waste. Not even the materials you buy for it. I don't know why I keep getting that, but it's like you're trying to save. You're just scared of not having enough or wasting paint, wasting supplies, but you won't really don't see that but you will waste potential with the paint dumping over if you keep undervaluing uh, undervaluing yourself because other people value you it's time for you to see yourself in the same light why am i still shuffling from this it's time to move on Six of Swords. Yeah, it's, on, it's time to move on. It's time to get out. Or leave a way of thinking behind. Something is behind you. Or something needs to be behind you. You can't carry these negative beliefs, these negative thoughts with you on your journey if you want to be successful. And the swords, like the more that's in that boat, the more it's going to be weighed down and you won't even be able to sail smoothly. So it's like the more, the more that happens, the more you can't really move forward. And I think you want to move forward. You want to do it so bad, but it's weighing you down. It's like you're trying to combat these thoughts when they arise. This is you trying to like battle your ego or tame your ego. And I did mention the ego in the beginning, like sometimes our brain is just mean. Another mistake people try to do is they try to control their ego. Like, I'm, I'm not listening to my ego, my ego's not there. We all have an ego, it's not really anything you can do about it, but you can accept it, accept it for what it is, and just 
leave it there. Don't try to under make under understand it. Don't try to believe it because you can really never believe what your ego says. Your ego might say, oh, you're not good at this, but where's the proof? It's like no ego, you're biased. <laughs> so I'm saying like these are the bad these are the bad thoughts. There's six of them, just like there's six in here. Those are, those are the thoughts weighing you down, and this is you saying, no, you're wrong. So it's like, you're definitely trying to, you're trying to move forward, you're trying to do better, and I really like that. <laughs> Thinking of how to proceed. Trying to combat both negative, or trying to combat those negative beliefs. There's there's a lot of significance about like going this way or trying to trying to move forward. Like this is even significant of that energy, just wanting to leave it all behind. Just wanting to go. Sorry Aquarius, my phone was acting weird and it said I ran out of storage, which was really annoying. But I was I think it was in the middle of putting this down and saying the world resembles travel as well. So there's there's a lot of expansive energy here. Just wanting to just wanting to move. No, no matter what. Just trying to ignore anything that gets in the way. <laughs> this is a really good sign. Sorry guys, my phone did it, did it again. So anyways, what I was about to say is you're finally taking action aka channeling that creative energy and putting yourself out there. I'm also getting putting yourself out to the world. Showing what you got. And remember I said they look at you as like that's worthy of my money or that's a good idea, I'd spend money on that, and then you're looking at it like it's cheesy. So I feel like you're definitely expanding your opinions, your view of yourself. I feel like you're going past what you think, like this is your ego, this is what you're telling yourself, and then this is everyone around you, and it's, it's just much different. So sometimes we can only understand <laughs> within our little bubble, within our own mind. Our mind is just me. But you're trying, you're, it's like you're trying to stray away from that. You're trying to get, I think you're also getting a second opinion. And then this is the last card. I, I think this is, this is gonna turn out amazing. It's just a matter of combating your ego. I feel like you're having a hard time with that because it's like your ego is trying to demean you. And that's, is not cool. I'm gonna get one more card and the end of the message. Chakra clearing. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So perhaps this requires a lot of chakra clearing. I know the sacral chakra has to do with creativity. So perhaps you need to check your sacral chakra, do activities that will help. <laughs> Speaking of sacral, sacral chakra, I have a sacral chakra candle, so that's another example. It's like, it would really aid you in being successful with this creative energy, because that's basically what it is. Sacral, sacred, you're very, you're very sacred. And it's about time you view yourself as such. Look past your your own opinion because you can't prove that. You're biased. And sometimes that biased opinion is just false and it, it's what keeps you back. It's what holds you back and you don't want to be held back anymore. I feel like you're sick of it. And you want to be successful and you are. So put those ideas to work, please. You have so much potential. Okay, Aquarius. 
that's the end of your message. Please like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. And remember what I said. Miracles can happen.